Geneva Rock wants to expand its gravel mining operation at Point of the Mountain, but first, the city of Draper needs to approve a rezoning request for that land. News for Utah's Rick Aaron explains why one group says the process is compromised by a conflict of interest. The Draper City Council is meeting here tonight to consider a proposed 73-acre expansion of Geneva Rock's gravel pit mining operation at Point of the Mountain. But one citizen activist told me that the mayor and the city council have a major conflict of interest. Tony Nelson's Point of the Mountain Politics Facebook page points out that Jeff Hartley works as a lobbyist for both the city of Draper and Geneva Rock. We're going to need a lobbyist who's fair and representing the citizens, not representing us and Geneva Rock. That's a conflict of interest. Hartley acknowledges he is employed by both entities, but says he doesn't represent either in the mine expansion debate. The fact that I uh, have represented both Draper City and Geneva Rock isn't uh, a conflict unless I'm working against one and for the other, which hasn't been done. And this Facebook group, Tony Nelson and, and these other clowns, they offer no evidence to prove that there is a real conflict. Nelson told me as a lobbyist for the city, Hartley has frequent conversations with Mayor Troy Walker, but a response to his records request says there's no documents of their exchanges. No documentation of anything that goes on between the two. So it's very possible that Mr. Hartley is pressuring Mayor Walker to support Geneva Rock. Or they could actually be making a deal with each other on Geneva Rock. Hartley says Nelson's real motivation is promoting Michelle Weeks' campaign for State House of Representatives. They just want to throw bombs. It's all about raising Michelle's profile as a hero for Draper. And frankly, they're pretty close to getting a cease and desist order for me because I'm a private citizen, not an elected official. And they don't get to go after private citizens and attack them with slander and libel. This is all a ruse that they're putting forward on people of Draper. The State Department of Air Quality has looked at the, the silica issue. They, they've said there's no silica in the, in the sand and gravel that's there, so there's not an air quality issue other than dust. Um, but they, they don't care about the facts. They just are trolls. That meeting got underway at 6 o'clock. We'll have the results for you tonight on News for Utah at 10. In Draper, Rick Aaron, News for Utah. The group Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment opposes the mine expansion because of dust issues, but Geneva Rock says they meet all state and federal standards for controlling dust at their mining sites.